Hey, Gemini, it's Nicola. So this is your weekly read. This will be for January the 5th through the 11th. I am not shaking this table because I did it for Taurus and it fell off. Y'all excuse the paint on my nails. I've been painting. But my table is shaky, so I will be um, shuffling in the seat right in front of you guys. So this, or right in front of the camera. So this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for January the 5th through the 11th. Oh, shit. I dropped all the cards, y'all. Give me one second. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> let's see what guidance we have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for January the 5th through January the 11th, 2020. What guidance do we have? All right, Gemini, we have initiation by water. So that does mean that this could be some emotional uh, releases that are happening. Whew. So let's see why we have, some of you guys, this is about being a clear channel within your emotions, okay? It says, your spiritual path this lifetime involves becoming a clear channel for spirit. You are meant to communicate with higher guidance from the loving spiritual worlds. Your initiation by water will further open your receiving channels, dislodging lower vibrational materials and sensitize you to the subtle realms of light. You're being open to a world of which you may not, you may have only dreamed. Such is its beauty, such is is its beauty grace and love y'all know I'll, I'll be seeing words that ain't there sometimes so i have to reread that <laughs> let's see what messages we have this is for gemini sun moon rising and venus what messages what guidance do we have for gemini sun moon rising venus this is for january the 5th january the 6th january the 7th january the 8th january the 9th january the 10th and january the 11th this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages for guidance do we have for Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of January the 5th to January the 11th, 2020. All right. So we have the King of Swords here. I do feel like for some of you guys, you could be in a space of making some decisions. This is Gemini. Um, so this could be you, masculine or feminine, in the space of really making decisions, setting um, setting intentions, really acting on your decisions. You could also be dealing with a masculine, if you're a feminine, you could be dealing with a masculine air sign, if any sign. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. All right, so let's see where we are. For Sunday, we have the Knight of Cups. So I do feel like there could be an offer coming in. Um, some of you guys, you could be balancing your emotions or there is some sort of emotional offer coming in. The cards are going to go on top of each other because I want to make sure you see every card as I put them out. So Monday, we have the hangman here. I feel like for some of you guys, you could be in suspension. You could be in a space of really needing to see something from a different perspective. I feel like you, this is a voluntary suspension while your emotions are being balanced. Tuesday, we have the Five of Cups. Some of you guys are dealing with some sort of regret either over this offer or this is the reason why you're balancing your emotions. It's because you're in a space of dealing with a change. Um, some of you guys have a change to the way you feel. So with the Eight of Wands, I do feel like some of you guys, there's some regret about moving forward or there's some regret dealing with some communication. But whatever it is, you're, you're really changing your emotions and you're deciding to move forward. Things are moving forward in your life. Thursday, we have judgment here. So I do feel like there is a reconciliation of some sort. I feel like for some of you guys, someone could be in a space of either there's a, a offer coming in. Someone could be in a space of really wanting to like sweep you off your feet, but also being in some sort of suspension. So I feel like for some of you guys, there's some regret dealing with this. You may be deciding to make a decision to move forward. Moving away, you could make an offer to someone and they can put you in suspension and that causes regret. So you decide to move forward, making some decisions, waking up. This could be an awakening that's happening. Let's see here. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we have the Queen of Cups. So I do feel like with the judgment here, this can be um, dealing, Queen of Cups is Scorpio energy, but this the transformation could be you making the decision to be loving to self. So really be in a space of loving yourself. 
It's Friday, Saturday, we have the half in here. So for some of you guys, a relationship can be growing closer here, but you could be in suspension because you're dealing with some sort of regret. I don't know if this is a relationship from you or someone could be making a decision to move into a relationship and that may be causing you to kind of wake up and be more nurturing to yourself. You could believe that you need to love yourself at the moment. So we're going to see what's popping off here. To make sure I got seven cards. When I'm laying them like this, it looks like I don't have as many cards as I'm supposed to have. So let's see what's going on with this Knight of Cups. There could be, like I said, there could be an offer coming in. Um, this could be from a younger water sign, or this can just be a very romantic type of gesture. Why is this Knight of Cups here? Now, this Knight of Cups is different than the rest of the Knight of Cups. Usually, you see the Knight of Cups as this man coming in on the horse. He's ready to sweep you up off your feet. It's like Prince Charming. Well, here, my dude got the cup, but he ain't going nowhere. He's just like, you want it or not? <laughs> so some of you guys could be dealing with that, like someone that's like, hey, you want this or not? Why is this Knight of Cups here? Why is this Knight of Cups here? We have the Empress here could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. Um, with the Four of Swords here, someone could be in an, in a in alignment with making an offer here to a Taurus or a Libra. So you could be in alignment with making an offer to a Taurus, or you could be in alignment with making an offer for something to grow. With the death card here, this is creating a transformation. So I feel like whatever this is, I feel like someone is wanting to invest into something new. Someone could be making an offer to invest into something new. I feel like this King of Swords, if this isn't you, this is someone else that's making the decision. And this is an offer or a proposal here. And someone is in alignment with that. This is creating some sort of transformation. All right. So let's see why this hang woman is here could be in suspension someone's perspective could have changed why is this hang woman here we have the page of cups here so i feel like there's this is someone's perspective has changed someone is following what they feel within themselves temperance here really balancing their mentals and emotions standing in their own ground with the four of pentacles i feel like with the eight of swords and the ten of swords someone could have been at a stalemate you could have been at a stalemate here um now you're in a space of embracing the end of interference so i feel like your perspective may have changed here Again, two of swords. Some of you guys could have some mental conflict. I'm going to be real with you. This Knight of Cups may not have come to you. And that decision for this Knight of Cups may cause you to be mentally conflicted about a situation. It may cause you to change your perspective about something that you may have been kind of stuck in. Um, for a lot of you guys, there was a, a, a feeling of being stuck, but it was only mental, possibly because you were waiting here with the hangman. You were voluntary putting yourself in suspension, waiting for someone to come and be inspired to make an offer. But I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like for some of you guys, this offer may not have come to you. So your perspective could have changed. Now you could be in the space. You could have been holding on, waiting for someone, especially with uh, temperance here in the four of pentacles. I feel like you were waiting for someone, but now I feel like, again, your perspective is changing. You have a new inspiration here based off someone's decision. There is some regret around this five of cups here. So why is this five of cups here? Why is this five of cups here? We have the emperor. So some of you guys are very much in a space of having regret around some sort of, you could be dealing with, I feel like this is about a masculine really stepping into his power and making a decision. And there is some regret dealing with that. So with the yeah, five of ones, I feel like this conflict, there's some conflict here. Some of you guys have conflict about moving forward, three ones here, because you've had a lot of patience with the situation. So some of you guys, you, you're dealing with someone that you had a lot of patience with and someone made a decision for themselves. They took control and made a decision for themselves. And now there's some sort of uh, emotional regret and conflict dealing with that. There's a change in the way you feel and a change in your passions based off someone's decision, based off someone creating some sort of, of, of change in their life. With the King of Swords and the, and the Emperor, someone made a decision to, to really take action in their life or to really create some sort of boundary or change in their life. And there's some regret dealing with that. All right. So let's see what messages we have here for this Eight of Wands. Why is this Eight of Wands here? We have Hierophant. So someone is moving into a relationship. Could be um, communicating with a Taurus, but someone is in the space of moving into a relationship. Eight of Cups. Someone's walked away. So I feel like you could be now. Give me one second. 
So I do feel like there's some, okay, with the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Wands, you could be in a space of walking away from a relationship or walking away from what you believe to be a relationship because the coffin is about beliefs. Now, someone could be thinking about moving forward, about walking into true fulfillment for themselves based off, again, what they believe. This has something to do with the Taurus for some of you guys, so check out the Taurus reading. But there is a lot of things. Someone's moving forward. And I feel like Eight of Cups, this is causing a growth, some sort of emotional or spiritual growth. Um, I feel like someone's moving out of a cycle, to be honest with you. So we have judgment here. I feel like a decision has been made. Why is judgment here? Why is judgment here? There could also be a reconciliation. Yeah, Three of Cups here. So someone is making a decision to reconcile with someone that makes them happy here. Um, Ace of Swords here. There's mental clarity around that. Five of Pentacles. And that is causing worry here so i feel like for some of you guys a cycle has completed i do feel like for some of you guys someone has made a decision to move into a relationship and i feel like this is causing you to really wake up so there is a, an awakening that's happening uh most definitely here queen of cups it may be deciding to wake up and nurture yourself why is this queen of cups here why is this queen of cups here so we have the Page of Swords here. Yeah, some of you guys have dealt with some challenging information here. Ace of Wands here, Five of Cups. I feel like you have some regret about this new cycle that is starting because, again, you've had a lot of patience. I feel like for some of you guys, things are changing and you're needing to really release the past so that you can really be more nurturing to yourself. I feel like someone is making a decision and the decision is heartbreaking to you, but I feel like it's a wake-up call. Now, this can be you making this decision, and someone may, you know, be disappointed about that. Hierophant here, Taurus energy here, could be dealing with a Taurus. Why is Hierophant here? This could be about a belief. I feel like you're overcoming your beliefs. You're overcoming, yeah, taking a leap of faith, moving forward here. Two of Pentacles, bringing balance. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're overcoming a relationship that you once believed was either a commitment or stable. I feel like you're releasing that tower here with the with the two of cups. Some of you guys are releasing a relationship or releasing your beliefs around a relationship and really taking a leap of faith to bring balance to your to your life. I feel like with the nine of wands, you're finding your strength. So let's see what guidance we have, guys. I do feel as though this week will be a wake-up call, and I feel like you're being initiated, like I told you, through your emotions. You have to clear away your previous beliefs of whatever situations you've had in order for you guys to move towards something new and abundant for yourself what guidance do we have for gemini Simon, Rise, and venus whoa okay first card we have wise leadership second card we have is nurturer i feel like for some of you guys you're in the space of allowing something to end death and magic here allowing old patterns to end so that you can really take the leadership to be nurturing to yourself Whatever is happening, this is a wake-up call, but it's put in place necessary in order for you to become the clear channel that is necessary to really live in your true light. So even though this may not be a very um, emotionally fulfilling week, it may be a week of regret. I feel like the change in emotion is necessary in order for you to nurture your new path. This is all I have, Gemini. Peace.